Welcome back to Fire Emblem Three Houses, everyone. Uh, we're gonna have to choose a, one of the houses now, I guess. I don't really know if this is gonna affect it in the long run. It might, but... That is, sounds correct. Uh, we have to choose between Adriston, Holy Kingdom of Fergus, or... I know how to say that I, word. I'd assume Leicester, or Leicester. It's Leicester. That's how you say it, the English city at least. English city Leicester. Mm -hmm. But most people would say Les Leicester if they never heard it before. Yeah, I don't know. Who are we gonna go with? Do we wanna be nobles or noble knights? Or ancient historians? Oh, I don't know. Noble sounds really cool. Okay, we're gonna, for now, I don't think this is gonna actually affect who we choose. Maybe not because, I don't know, we're not a teacher yet. But I'm gonna go with, with the smug lad known as Cloud. Let us become nobles with Claude, yes. Is that right? Like that. Well, that's a win for the Alliance, so I suppose I'm obligated to be happy. Huh. Oh. Alright, that's enough with the small talk. It's time to head back to the monastery. I, 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 I guess Looks that's like where we'll we're going this, up this round. To the monastery. My, my, they are in such a hurry. You know, each of the three is most unique. Yeah. Maybe there's like a maybe there's like a really easy Oh, come on. We got more? More? Who do we like the most? Who's the most unique out of all of them? I don't know. I, I I'm actually leaning towards Dimitri on this yeah. one. He seems like the edgy brooding type, but there's probably a reason for that. Mm -hmm. I can only assume. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have dialogue. It's in, uh, he's, he's thinking. Oh, okay, we need to go through all of them. That's oh, nice. <laughs> we don't have to choose our favorites. Refined. Oh. Hmm. She's judging. And of course. Easy smile. His eyes are yes, kind of scary. The same. She it just wants to sleep. Sleepy, I don't know. All the lollies in these games just oh, want to sleep the whole time. <laughs> Alright, bye. Gotta put bed down. No, wait. That's not correct English. Or is it? Oh. Oh. This is the White Clouds, Part Great one. Tree Moon, Three Houses. White Clouds. Oh. Ooh. Great Tree Moon. Ooh. Three that an houses. actual narrator. I guess I don't need to do anything. Ho ho. I'm liking this. The icy winds of the Agma Mountains have begun to scatter, and the verdant fields once again mm -hmm. spring to life across Fodlan, heralding mm -hmm. the start of a new year. It's Bambi. <laughs> As they celebrate the dawning year, the people pray that they may realize their full potential, just as a tiny sprout hopes to one day grow into a great tree. Oh, I see. Very cool. The oh, continent All right, Fodor, tell us the history. To be protected by a revered man? goddess has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. I see. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000-year-old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Oh, Beyond its borders, I to see. the frigid north, is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family. Okay, so... Spaghetti Man. <laughs> To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. There he is. Once <laughs> so, Edelgard has the biggest turmoil, amount, has the most amount of territory. And these three mighty correct. powers now exist in relative harmony. Relative. Because all these three kids, they're pals. Aw, oh, pals just going to school. This will be your first time at the monastery. This is true. I'd be happy to show you around. It really is Fodlin in a nutshell. The good and the bad. Like it or not, we'll be there soon enough. <laughs> I'm just gonna stare at this one a little longer than the others. <laughs> now what you do? Oh, what? That must mean that there are different cutscenes for female teacher. Hmm. Maybe we should stare at There it is. No, 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 because it, in, I know that you can S-support with, uh, 
with Edelgard if you're the female teacher. Oh, so she's still serious. Yeah, at Edelgard. So we just get to stare at Edelgard for a little longer than everyone else. <laughs> We are inside, we are outside. Three points to Gryffindor. Oh, look at this dude. <gasps> oh my He's God. our magic teacher. Teacher! Oh, we got Jiggle Physics teacher. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Who's next? Or is that all? The guards! Geralt! Teacher. Oh, he just knows. Or she's staring. Okay, never mind. She's just staring down at us awkwardly. Oh. Gonna. Gonna say anything? No, I'm just gonna. Wonder, <laughs> did the flow of time bring you here? Time. Oh, uh, more time talk. Is it worth this is just the JoJo episode. The world loop. It's time to go. Can you make it? <laughs> It's been years since I've last set eyes on this place. To be forced to see her now, uh... Oof. You've been here before? Let's see her. You saw her in the courtyard earlier, didn't you? The Archbishop. Lady oh. Rhea. Hmm. Archbishop. Lady Rhi. A. Hey. As you know, the majority of folks in Fodlan are devout followers of the teachings of Seros. Oh, majority, huh? The leader of that ridiculously large religious organization is the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Are they going to be evil? Thank you for your patience. Something tells me they're going to be evil. My name evil. is Sethic. I am an advisor to the Archbishop. Right. Hello. It's the advisor. Don't worry. It <laughs> has been a long time, Gerald. I wonder... Was it the will of the goddess that we have another chance meeting like this? Oh, I'm sure, I'm Forgive sure. my silence all these years. Much has happened since we last spoke. So I see. The miracle of fatherhood has blessed you. Who's the mother? That is your child, is it not? Cheek. Yes. <laughs> Born many years after I left this place, I wish I could introduce you to the mother of my child. Oh, but I'm afraid oh, you lost I your illness. She's dead. I see. My condolences. As for you... I heard of your valiant efforts from Alois. What is your I name? I don't like that name. I don't like Alois. My name is... Are we gonna hit him with the ellipses? <laughs> Alright, well, let's, give, let's give him this. Let's a be fine polite. Name indeed. He's gonna be a nice guy. Oh wait! From the bottom of my heart, she can't be evil I thank because you the, uh, the affinity the went up with her. Of the officers academy. <laughs> That's correct! Maybe? I don't know, I don't know. No, she's clearly no. just there. You already know. Maybe it's here to throw me off, I'm not sure. You, not? you want me to rejoin the Knights of Seros, don't you? I won't say no, but hmm. you won't Your say no. Stings. I had expected that Alois would have already asked this of you. I mean he kinda did. But... I must step away for now. But I expect they will desire a word with you soon. Who's they? Please oh. listen carefully to what they have to say. It's the Until, Until tomorrow. tomorrow. Farewell. <laughs> It's the headmaster of the school. Oh boy. Wouldn't she be the headmaster of the school? Uh, I can't believe I it. Four <laughs> back because it's into a the monastery. Oh. The <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. Looks like I'll be stuck here for a while. And I'm afraid your services are requested as well. Oh, I get to be teacher. It's teacher time. I must work here as a servant? <gasps> Nothing like that. They want you to teach. By the sound of it. What? Okay, cool. You heard those brats earlier talking about the Officer's Academy, right? Well, the Academy just happens to be short of professor. Uh, and the parents it just so happens. Police went and recommended you to Lady Ray. Oh, yes, so, of course. You must be the new professor. My, how stern and handsome. I'm getting a very thirsty vibe from uh, this lady. No, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the one you're looking for. You that can handle that. things from here. Good luck. Yeah. Okay, bye. I'm not dealing with now, this. Watch out for Lady Rhea. Hmm. I don't know what she's thinking, making you a professor like this. She may be up to something. Yeah, you're wrong. I'll trust Dad. Yeah. Oh, it's you then? So young. Competence and age are not necessarily correlated. Okay, I like this guy. Well Hannah man. I am Hannah. <laughs> 
a crest scholar, is a professor yeah. at the officer's academy. It's a crest scholar. I wonder if you bear a crest of your own. When next you have a moment to spare, hmm. I insist that you pay me a, a visit so we can delve into the subject Ooh. further. I'm Manuela. I'm a professor, a physician, a songstress, and available. Oh boy. Oh, oh, nice oh, gosh. oh boy, she's available. Just, uh, Shout, which one are we talking about first? The physical aspect first? That's the first one for okay, uh, clearly. with it. <laughs> Look too pretty for that line of work, do I? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, when I'm not teaching, <laughs> infirmary. I'm in the infirmary. Oh, okay. If you're ever lonely, please do come and pay me a visit. Mm. I would love to spare our colleague the needless. Thank you, handman. <laughs> yeah. Now then, it seems you'll be taking charge of one of the academy's three houses. Oh, he said the I line. He said the, the name of the game. How oh, dare he? Have you? What? Do you really not know? Fine. I'll do you a favor. All right. Here's, here's our little expedi the exposition The Officers' dump. Academy is comprised of three Officers. houses of students, each of which is closely affiliated with its region of origin. Of course. Of course. The Black Eagle House is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Their house leader this year is Edelgard, the Imperial Princess, mm -hmm. who is in line to be the next uh, Emperor. Mm -hmm. The Blue Lion House is for students from the Holy Kingdom of Bartles. Of course. Their of house course. leader this year is Prince Dimitri. He is to be the next king of Bartles. Ooh, king. Lastly, there is the Golden Deer House, which is for students of the Leicester Alliance. Their if, house if, there, if one of the mounted units from the Golden Deer, deer is not riding the deer, the I'm Alliance. going to be upset. Yeah. The things that the next emperor, king, and sovereign duke are all here. Oh, yes, it's very, it's very interesting that they all happen to be going here at the same time. They all happen to be the same year. Quite. That happens sometimes. For now, I suggest taking a stroll around the academy to get your bearings. And when you have a moment, walk around. It's it's open world academy time. The old man has a point. Oh, and keep in mind that I've only notified the house leaders that you're our new professor. It's more fun that way. I, suggest I like I like her personality other than the Sweet, extra thirsty side in that bunch. But they're good and kids. the like extra I'm cleavage sure side. I'm sure will have more information <laughs> for you tomorrow, but that should get you going. Okay, but, but at luck, least she's legal. You'll need it. That's a real. Have you no intention of changing your mind, Rhea? Hmm. Appointing a stranger, a child no less, as a professor at our esteemed academy Steve. is. I have made my decision, Sedith. I know worrying comes naturally to me, but there is <laughs> That stranger is Gerald's flesh and blood, after all. I can't say that's all too comforting. How trustworthy is this Gerald character? Huh. Is he not the man who went missing after the Great yeah, Fire 21 oh, years the ago? the Great Fire, huh? I would remind you that Flane is now here with us as well. Flame? I beg of you, please Who's consider Flame? where this is an that's unnecessary kind of sounds risk. Like Flame. Ooh, if there was a great fire, then, uh... Oh, he definitely did it. That's, that's the game theory today. More importantly, I have received a report from Shamir. I am increasingly concerned about a matter regarding our suspicious individual. Oh, and we have we another person. We cannot ignore those who harbor ill will toward the church. Especially if they are frequenting Garrick Mach. Ooh. Yes, that matter is of great importance as well. I shall continue my investigation. I Rhea. do like how everything is. For fun. now, I will have That's faith really that you nice. are placing your trust with the utmost care. I pray that nothing occurs. I know that to they did that, that in uh, Shadows of Valentia, but I hope they keep this trend going from here yeah. on. It was really neat for them to do that and have done it again. Ooh, ooh. I love this. I love this so much. I could entertain myself with little Byleth walking along the bottom of the screen for hours. Aura. He's just Ooh. waiting for the loading bar to hey. get to him. Hey, hurry up. Let's go. Let's move. Come on. You're almost there. You can do it. I thought Carter oh, slowed <laughs> things quickly. But uh, I guess... He was pretty fast. This is an advanced game. Obviously. Oh, it's playing the theme. What? The school bell is the fire moon theme. I like that. It's very oh, nice. nice. So to throw that in there. 
little cutscene introducing the rest of the school, I assume. So these are Claude's servants. Or friends? <laughs> friends. <laughs> That's what I meant. Look at these. Ooh. Oh, I like this guy. I like this guy already. Oh, user. <clears throat> Edelgard's friends. Ooh, friends. <laughs> The lazy one, uh huh. Lazy. The one that stares at you with intent. And Jotaro! Oh gosh, oh freak! Okay, we might actually have to go with the, with, with the red lion. No, sorry, frick! <laughs> the reds. The red team. I already forgot their name, I'm terrible. Black Ooh, guy! I like that guy too. It's a black guy, oh my gosh. A black guy in a Fire Emblem game. <laughs> Who would have ever thought? Ooh, look at that sweat line. Sweaty spaghetti here. <laughs> it's just sauce though. <laughs> look at my dead eyes. Our dead eyes. My bad. It's okay. She scares me still. She like hugged she a bloody sword one time. That was kinda weird. Well, it's clearly cause she's gone through a lot. Alright, we can explore the monastery. Oh my gosh. Look to the left side of the screen. Okay. Ooh. Hi. Nice to meet you. I assume you are already aware that you will be teaching here at the Officers Academy. Oh, free camera! Correct? Actually, I'm to start, not aware. Please speak with the three house leaders. You should also take a look around the Academy and acquaint yourself with your new home. Of that course. is your first task here at the monastery. Please let me know if you accept it. Hmm. Once you have finished, come Oh, if you listen carefully, you can you can hear the switch starting to May I ask a favor of you? It is starting to spin real good. This is taxing the my my poor little guy. It's okay. Okay, time to go gather information about all the students. They came out with the DS right, and then the DS light. They came out with the switch and now the switch light, which obviously means they're gonna come out with a new switch. Better like they did with the DSi. Clearly. Oh, oh, we got we got uh, some choppy frames when the camera moves. It's okay. Ah, I imagine you were a bit surprised that I recommended you as a professor here. Yes, just a Frank, little bit. We had someone else in mind for the role. Also, why do you only have one during our band? dust up with the bandits? Fall in the Can't footsteps of the To someone who's <laughs> abandoned them once before. Huh? You saved the lives of the students you came across. That, at least, was admirable. He doesn't now, like you me. should make the rounds. Well, Go around the monastery hair. and see the that degree that you one. Clearly. Yeah, but I have blue hair, which means I'm the main character. Oh, okay. Oh, I, want to, I want to see what's over here. First. We gotta find the three house leaders. What's gotta find some kids. Oh, wait, hold up. Wait a minute. Oh, wait. it's just a advisory room. I don't like the way his arm jacket things move. Yeah, he doesn't wear his jacket. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh... I'm pretty sure arms don't move like that. No, his art, his, his, he's not wearing a jacket. <clears throat> yeah, I know, but when you're not wearing a jacket, I'm pretty sure arms don't move like that when you're not wearing him. I'm pretty sure you're just gonna stay. Oh, they don't flip out like that. Oh, That's okay. okay, though. Flim Blim logic makes up for it. <laughs> Flim Blim. Yes, I know how many maps work. Hello. You ran into someone. Hello there. This That's is very so. empty. <laughs> just oh, kidding, it's kind of fun. Oh, the songstress Dorothea. What are you guys talking about? Boy, I cannot speak. Right. They don't want to talk to a teacher. They're talking about the other students, it seems. Mm. Oh, here we go. Reception. The reception hall. Cool. There's Edelgard. Cool. We found one of them. Let's go say hello. Pity. So, you've accepted a teaching position here. Pity. I was hoping you would lend your strength to the Empire. Hm. I never properly introduced myself, did I? My name is Edelgard von Pressbelk. Uh, that I is am the very... princess and heir apparent of the Adrestian Empire. I'm not going to be able to say that I wonder that if you'll be tasked with leading Edelgard the Black Eagles. For now. I hope you've had a chance Forever. to meet everyone. Would you like to know more about any of the Black Eagles? Yes, I would love to learn more. Tell me all- Oh, we got a few. How many is that? That's... Nine? Eight? Uh, eight. Eight, okay. 
Me? Well, some think I'm a bit distant. Arrogant, even. Arrogant. But there's little to what? be done. One day, I must okay, so we have their skills, their strengths, weaknesses, well, and their current stats, well, and their level. We may have Defining ability. Defining ability, I assume, is going to be pretty important. Yeah, like we'll Swap like display. Oh. You get to stare at them. And I, I can't even move. This is all we get. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Hubert. Tell me about this lad. Hubert with is the, scary the heir eyes. of Marquis Vestra. He has served me since I was a child. Oh. You may think his blood runs a bit cold, <laughs> but <laughs> actually that's rather accurate. Still, if you can get past that, mm. you'll see he's quite astute and reasonable. Reasonable. He has plus five might with gambits, that's pretty nice. He's a bow user. Mm. He's a noble. He's too. a bow and magic user. <laughs> Alright. Ferdinand. For some reason, he thinks of me as a bitter rival and is always trying to challenge me. Mm. It's terribly irritating. Ah, uh, the self rival. His house is that of Duke Ayer, which confidence. produces Adrestia's prime minister. Oh, so we just want to keep that his. Family is perhaps his HP too pleased and full with its own status. Correct. But he's a close range. He's a close combat kind of guy. It'd be a lot easier if he was a a bow. But I guess we can do that since he doesn't have any defining weaknesses. Oh. Linhart, the love child of Linhart. He's Lin remarkably Reinhardt. intelligent, but he only wishes to apply himself to tasks that particularly interest him, and nothing else. Uh -huh. He's also so of, he's got you know, renewal. Napping. <laughs> if if he if just he waits, had any renewal. work ethic or nice. sense of duty to speak of, yes, that's, I suppose uh, he would be destined to become an official neat. of the empire. He's bad at, at wielding heavy weapons and fist fighting, but he's got books, knowledge. He's got the power of knowledge. Casper. Well, that's clearly Caspar. He's the second son of Count Caspar. Hercules. He has no inheritance in his future, oh. which is perhaps why he's always Ooh. so eager to prove himself. Born fighter. He's overly Ooh. energetic and rushes headfirst into any battle. Adjacent foe suffer. Suffer. Be sure to keep up close. That's interesting. So he every time he enters combat, he just every person he fights against has minus ten avoid. That's that's pretty nice. I like that. That's the top tier. Oh boy, I've seen her around a few times. She's Count Varley's only daughter. I suppose you could say she's a bit eccentric, but she seems so like a gentle soul. Her, so she I believe she shut plus. herself away from <laughs> quarters and doesn't care to leave. Lances but and bows. Don't huh? worry, I'll make sure she finds her way to class. Persecution complex. What? Oh, oh I don't know. That, oh, that 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 sounds kind of bad. I don't. I don't know. I don't want to. I don't. I, fe I feel like I'm bullying her. <clears throat> if I do that. That's okay. Oh, it's Jotaro. Few commoners have joined the Black Eagle House, but Dorothea is an exception. She's our dancer. She's a songstress from or a famous opera company in the like, oh, She's also a commoner. I'm not entirely sure what brought her Welcome to the, to the commoner gang. <laughs> That's pretty nice. That takes an ally ten percent of HP. Swords and magic, very nice. And Petra. Patricia. To the west of Fodlan is an archipelago called Bridget. Hmm. Petra is the granddaughter of their king. Bridget is a vassal state so of the Empire, royals. which is how she came to be enrolled here. Royalties. She's incredibly smart and studious. Very smart, very smart. No, yeah. she's a commoner. <laughs> she's a hunter's boon. Grants quick 20. Oh. Ooh, okay. So she's got wrath. Kind of. She's got, like, reverse wrath. <laughs> That's <laughs> nice. No, I've spoken with Edward Good. Hello there. Greetings. You must be the new professor. What a pleasure. Even As for me, my voice. job is to stand here at this glorious entrance and leisurely watch over the comings and goings of everyone. Dude, I want this guy's job. Smile, you know? He doesn't even have eyes. Yeah, and by that, I mean oh. to vigilantly guard this entrance with my very life. No levity whatsoever. I I'm now, already liking the tone this game has. Point. It's got kind of like a jokey tone when it wants to. You must be a student. I uh, sure, whatever you think. <laughs> who are you? Who are you? Oh. Oh, I can't go that way. They but, said no. But I'm a teacher. And I can go this way. Ah, this door is conveniently opened. It just kind of opens on its own for some reason. Oh, here we go. Dimitri was out here, wasn't he? Yes. So I assume he's still out here. This is the academy, huh? Very nice. 
That must be in the blue. Oh, dude. In the blue. Oh, dude, the switch is, yeah. is going into overdrive. <laughs> I wonder if the mic's gonna pick that up at all. Right, right. Uh, hello. Oh, hello there. Please accept my apologies for the other day. You came to our aid, yet I hadn't even the courtesy to properly introduce myself. Well, please do. I am Dimitri Alexandra Blated, Blated. Crown Prince Blated. of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. See, that's easier. Uh, of Dimitri course, Alexandra at the Blated. Academy, I am simply a I might just join his house so I don't butcher his name every time I speak to him. Lord of Claude's <laughs> name is just Claude. <laughs> it's just Claude. It <laughs> doesn't have anything else. I'm confident I could benefit greatly from your guidance. In any case, welcome to the monastery. Uh-huh. I hear you're investigating the different houses here. Did any of the blue lions catch your attention? Well, we're about to find out. Yes. Okay, oh. tell me about yourself, Dimitri. Me? Oh, um... Please, forgive me. It's Jeez, difficult to open up on the spot. I assume, I assume Claude also has I'm afraid has my story has not been a pleasant one. I do hope that doesn't color your view of me. But I understand if that can't be helped. Okay, so he's definitely got a dark past. He's bad with axes, but he's got good leadership. Yeah. Very cool. Black guy. How do we say that? Dudu was born in Dudu? and has been I really love this guy already. I'm loving me some Dudu. He's rather taciturn, but once you get to know him, you'll see he's a kind he and no good-natured young man. Except for Wade, Grant's death club. Okay, so he's an armored unit. Easy. Another Some common. <laughs> he will be an armored unit. <laughs> Felix. Oh. Felix is the heir to House Fraldarius. Mm -hmm. He has a bit of a sharp tongue, but don't let that fool you. Deep down, he's a good guy. He gravitates toward people who are skilled. Oh, so he likes to Perhaps be alone. Perhaps you would enjoy a friendly competition with him sometime. Felix likes to be alone. A noble. He likes to punch things, as you can tell from his strengths. Oh. Tell me about Ash. He's the adoptive son of Lord Lenato of Castle Gaspar. Uh -huh. But I hear he was born a commoner. Yeah, his he class has is an so. extremely wow. earnest personality. So I'm certain he will approach your lectures with great enthusiasm. And he's a thief. Because he's got lockpick. Oh my gosh, Ash is a thief. Ash really steals. No dignity. Ah. Sylvain is the heir to House Gautier. He is a capable person who highly values his friends. Mm -hmm. That said. Well, he's always been a bit of a... <clears throat> ah, skirt chaser, he's the ladies so man. You can tell from his Pardon anime hair. And he's the fighting ability. Often, yep, Philander. To help. Philander. I said that right. He's a female ally. He's next to him. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, he's the, he's the ladies man. Mercedes. I hear she was born to Imperial nobility, but a twist of fate brought her to the kingdom. She may seem carefree she's on gonna the go surface, buy a Mercedes. <laughs> but she's actually a kind soul who and pays she's careful healer, attention to everyone around her. Oh, very nice. Annette. <laughs> Annette is Baron Dominic's niece. She is a talented student oh, no. who scored extremely high young marks at the Royal School of Sorcery. She's cheerful uh, and hardworking, brilliant. Uh, she really. has though she can strength. be a bit oblivious at times. I hear she caused an explosion in the kitchen last night. And she's bad at cooking. Okay. <laughs> but she can wield an axe. Her weakness is his armor. Ingrid. Ingrid is Count Galatea's daughter. She is also a childhood friend of Felix, Sylvain, and myself. She is ah, diligent, I see. industrious, she's and the principled. childhood friend. In truth, she is more knightly than most knights you will ever meet. Oh, so she's got a she's got a nice skill. Grants my plus three hit. Hit plus five with gambits. That seems mm. pretty nice. And she's a Pegasus Knight, it seems. Or she can be. All right, I'm going to go speak with the others. Oh, the frames are dropping. Frames are dropping. Don't worry. Oh. I'm gonna go hey. look in here. Hey, it's 4:23. That means her birthday tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what do you know? It's almost like it was planned or something. Well, oh, there, there's a bunch of the students in here. Oh. What the crack is is freaking uh, claw? What? I don't talk to strangers. I'm sorry, Bernadetta. This is no stranger. Our house leader owes this person a great debt. Yes, that's correct. Is that not right? I am Ferdinand von Eyre, 
legitimate son of the Iron Legitimate son? What? Does house. that mean there is an illegitimate son out there class? somewhere? <laughs> I look forward to getting better acquainted with you. Wonderful. Well. She's not looking at me. Well. Oh, was, but she knows we have an unfamiliar face. Oh, she called us lovely. In the monastery? Shall I show you around? Mm. Oh, my name is Dorothea. Mm -hmm. Before I joined the academy, I was a member of an opera company in the Empire. Oh, she's given the You link. should hear me sing sometime. Oh, gosh. Oh, frick. Wonderful. Where's Claude? Is it true? Is it true that you saved Edelgard? That's incredible. Oh, the man, everyone's saying Edelgard, and I'm Pleased saying Edelgard. Linhard, mm. goodbye. Clark, right, I already please, like this Linhard guy. How'd you get into the academy with those manners? So, are you a student here, too? Maybe uh, I recognize this voice actor. This I'm gonna have to look up who Casper's voice actor is later. I am Hubert, a humble servant of Lady Edelgard. I see. I heard you came to the aid mm -hmm. of her. You have my most sincere thanks. Of course, you're very this welcome. This is Petra. She has come all the way from Bridget to study in the Empire. Study. Back on her archipelago, she is actually a princess. In Fodland terms, huh. she would be called so she's heir to the throne. Hello. Heir. I am called Petra. I am pleased to be meeting with. Uh, no. Uh, oh, I so she doesn't know how to speak the language very well. I see. Hmm. Unnamed students. Hey. Got all these randos. Clearly, we can't just this have kids. This is the classroom at the Black students. Eagle House, <laughs> which is for students from the Adrestian Empire. I see. Our house leader is Princess Edelgard. Yes, yes, I'm gonna. Okay. What are the other houses then? Oh, okay, they're just all right next to each other. Okay. Hey. Hey. Hello, everyone. Hi there. The you must be the one everyone's the talking about. I'm Ash. Great to meet you. Ash. This here He's is the Duke. Fricks. He serves Prince Dimitri. I have heard that you rescued his highness. The Duke. Words cannot express mm. my gratitude. I like his name. Should you ever require my strength, please oh. know that I will hasten to repay this debt. Wonderful. I will rely on you later, perhaps. I have heard all about what you did from Prince Dimitri. As a citizen oh, of Fargus, I thank Prince. you. He also said you're <laughs> Not he only deal. speaks the truth. And he doesn't just say things like that. I look forward to sparring with you and beating you. Oh, we'll see about Felix, that, Mr. Must Felix. You always speak of fighting but right away. The teacher game. Oh, and uh, you may call me Ingrid. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Ingrid. I'm not sure about that name. And who's this? You don't look familiar at all. Do you work here at the monastery? I like her face. Oh, she is very nice and welcoming. This is that mercenary people have been talking She's got about? a very motherly aura really about her. About it, that does sound like something Dimitri may have said. Huh. I suppose you'll be enrolling at the Officers Academy too, then? Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Mercedes, and this is my best friend. Mercedes. I'm Mercedes. Annette. It's nice to meet you. They seem very nice. Finally, says so someone who thinks we're not a student. Oh, here we go. Hey there. Are you the mercenary who saved his highness? It's an honor to meet you. I'm Sylvain Jose. I wonder if, if we're a girl, does he start hitting on us? Probably. That probably would have happened, yeah. <laughs> Unnamed student. Oh, clearly he's in here. What do you think? Ooh, here we go. Hi. Is he not here? He's not here. What the? What the what do you I think? guess we'll speak to them first. Though. Hey. Are you that mercenary? Everyone's been talking about you. Yes, uh, I'm Hilda. Hilda Valentine Goneril, and her name Hilda is... Hilda Okay, we might have to M join, Mary because that's Hilda another Hilda. JoJo reference, clearly. Are you <laughs> the Knights of Saros so my or something? To best boy, funny well, Valentine. I look forward to seeing more of you. They look forward to seeing more of us. That must mean we have to join them. Oh, hello. So you're the skilled mercenary who saved Claude, are you? Oh, you are? It's such an honor to meet you. Oh, he's a nerd. Ignatz Victor. My parents are Alliance merchants. No. Oh, I just called him like Victor and he's a nerd. What? Please do not forget it. Uh huh. I will not forget it. You seem very uh, adamant about that. I forgot what it was. <laughs> wait, wait, let me, let me. Oh, those are unnamed characters, clearly. Heck. I think. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It's because they don't have the red border around. Oh, I are you see. Someone's guest. The dining hall's that way, if that's what you're looking for. Oh, Raphael. Raphael. That's Captain Gerald's kid. Hi, I'm Leonie Pinelli. 
Captain Leone Trump's Pinelli. first and I greatest like apprentice. I like her name. I'm sure he's told you about me. Nice to meet you. I'm Raphael Kirsten. Who All their you? names are so easy. <laughs> oh, look at this. Look at this dude's hair. Look at his hair. <laughs> look at this dude. It's Looking okay. like Joshu. Uh, you must be Josh. the renowned mercenary who rescued Claude. Honestly, you should not have troubled yourself over the likes of him. <laughs> My name is Lawrence Hellman Gloucester. You will want to remember it. Oh, another one of these guys. What do you think? Oh, All right, is where it? where is Claude? I don't know. Quick, uh, let's go find uh, him. He's probably just further out this way, right? He must be practicing his bow shooting. So maybe he is down at some place. Oh yeah, the frames are dropping right now, dude. This is not the best. Let's take a look around. Oh, bruh. Can I? Oh, I can sprint. Ooh. I have not pressed the B button. Oh, it's quite quick. Yes. Just pressing the oh, no, second floor. Ah. I'm looking for a certain bowman. Hey there. We probably passed him already. Very smug bowman. Pardon me. Oh, and I can look on. I forgot about the mini map. Oh, that's cool. He's right. He's right. Oh, what? I literally walked right past him. <laughs> well, well, scored a teaching gig here, did you? Talk about a great first impression. <laughs> I guess that means I'd better introduce myself properly. I'm Claude von Regan. That is I'm an from easy the name. House of von Regan. Easy. But don't worry too much about all that madness. I'm guessing you don't know which class you'll be teaching yet, do you? I bet you'd like ours. We're not as <laughs> difficult as the other two. A diff non difficult Have you met class. the folks from the Golden Deer House yet? That fine. Care that to might know be more nice about anyone? Alrighty, tell me about yourself, Claude. Claude. <laughs> Piqued your interest, have sure. I? As luck would have it, I'm pretty curious about you as well. But what's life without fast. a bit of mystery? Let's lucky. just spend the next year or so learning about each other little by little. Wonderful, wonderful. He's also got that lineage thing. Mm -hmm. He's the heir of Gloucester territory. If you haven't already picked up on him, he's a bit arrogant and fancies himself a ladies' man. <laughs> that said, deep down, he's really devoted and honest. Though I wouldn't mind never mm. hearing him talk about his noble obligations ever again. So he's, he's the distinguished house. He's the he's the noble guy. Yeah. Noble in heart, mind, and body. <laughs> He thinks highly of himself, doesn't he? What's this? He comes from a merchant family. Ah, His merchant parents family. died in an accident. Seems like he's had a rough life. Despite all that, he's just about the most cheerful guy you'll ever meet. Aww, His passions are I training, like Raphael. Eating, he's and, got a goodie basket. Yeah, actually, that's about it. Ooh. It's like, oh, that that actually seems pretty nice. If it triggers, so you can just randomly get HP. <laughs> that's pretty nice. He's the second son of a merchant family. Since his brother will inherit the business, he's training to become a knight. I see. If you ask me, it doesn't seem like he okay, really so he just wants has to be plus a knight. 20 hit. He's probably just doing it to just has that. That's pretty good. That's, that's really nice. <laughs> Lysithia is the daughter of Count Ordelia, mm. and is probably the youngest student here. Oh, so no, not legal. Child. Definitely she a lolly. She angry if you <laughs> treat her like a child. As for me, I do it on purpose. You have to make your own fun in this place, you know? <laughs> she doubles the skill XP. That's nice, so she levels up real fast. Aura. Marianne is Marianne. Margaret Edmund's daughter. And that's pretty much oh. all I know about her. <laughs> she doesn't interact much with other students, so I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of folks here have never even heard her speak. Animal friend. So she likes animals. Animals. We want, we, we want to keep her next to cavalry units. She's weak to hands. <laughs> hands bad. Animal good. Hilda is the only daughter of Duke mm -hmm. Goneril. It seems her father and brother coddle her quite a bit. If you look uh, up lazy in the dictionary, her picture won't be there because she never got around <laughs> to submitting it. So she's That's spoiled. Too unusual for a noble. She's the spoiled noble. She gives adjacent male allies three extra damage. So, so we put her and the other guy, who's the ladies' man, next to each other, and they just are good. But he's from a different house, so... Uh. 
Leone enrolled because she wants to be a mercenary. I think she said that her father is a hunter. Hmm. She's pretty blunt and as stingy as they come. A habitual saver, too. I see. I think she's I hoping see. to repay her village for helping to send her here. Like the latest guy, man, on the blue team. <laughs> but with males. I appreciate your effort. Yes, I'm very glad. I got a vulner. I got money. She gives you money? Yeah. Payment. Yes, I love talking to people and receiving $500. Do we want to keep exploring, or do we want to just return to the audience we chamber? We should return, because I think we did lots of exploring trying to look for Claude. <laughs> I think that we will be returning to the audience chamber in the next episode.